today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full coverage foundation only using drugstore products so you could just really get an amazing look and not spend a ton of money because I mean seriously none of us wants that but we all will look our best and you can actually do your makeup spending no money at all because I'm giving you guys a ton of free makeup look at all of it here in this picture I could barely fit it in there but here it is and literally all you have to do to win this makeup is be subscribed to this channel so if you're not subscribed already make sure to click down there so you can subscribe and get a ton of free makeup. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started! Boom! Oh my god, you guys, I feel like every time I go from wearing makeup in my intro to not wearing makeup, it's just like, oh my god, what happened to her? So let's jump right into it and I'm gonna get started with my foundation and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Total Infallible Foundation and this one, it says it's 24 hour wear, which is, I can't think of a situation where I would go out thinking I need 24 hour wear foundation. I mean, that's pretty cool that it's available. So I'm using color 3O. Oh, did I say total wear? Total cover. <laughs> this is the one you guys. They also have one that's medium coverage, but this is the full coverage. So like the one that will just stick to your face. And I want to show you guys the consistency on my beauty blender. See, it's like not really liquidy, but it's more like a cream, I would say. See how it sticks there? It's kind of like a little heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy. So that's good. I actually haven't applied foundation with my beauty blender in a really long time, but I wanted to do it today. It's really so easy. So I'm just going to go in with this. So I'm just going to kind of bounce this off my face. And here you can see the full coverage and I have this little thing right here this little visiting pimple oh my god I thought it was good for this video because I don't really get that many pimples so I was like it's good because we're gonna really really cover it up Okay, so you can see right now one coat of foundation and you could make it heavier. I feel like this foundation you can build up and I almost want to do it just because it's like very full coverage. So I'm going in with a little more just kind of where I feel I could need it and I could actually just like tap a bit on top of any problem areas like that big old pimp. I swear I feel like it's getting bigger. It's probably just me paying more attention to it. to concealer and I'm gonna be using this one which is the covergirl outlast all day and I'm actually gonna be using kind of a mix of concealers so let's go in with this one first and I'm gonna use this one right on my under eye there's so many foundations I like for a full coverage effect even if they're drugstore I mean I don't think drugstore ever means that it's a bad product it's just with everything makeup you have to shop around for what good for your skin type or yourself your needs pretty much so I really like this one I'm just gonna go in with it just right here under my area. I actually brought you guys a tiny bit closer so you could see my dark eyes really really well because I mean isn't that what you want to see right now? And really I just always have the habit of working my concealer in with my fingers. So I'm just gonna tap this here. I don't want to move it around too much. I just want it to stay right under my under eye. And I'm actually also gonna be using this L'Oreal Conceal and Contour Kit, I think. Kind of, yeah, kit. And I feel like these shades right here aren't like really for me to contour because they're a little bit too light, but they're perfect for concealing. So I'm gonna use this one that's more yellow based, so it's perfect for if you have any grayness or blue just to kind of color correct right here a little bit and also these type of concealers I really like to use for sure with my fingers because I feel like my finger kind of melts them down the cream concealers this are actually really really creamy so I don't really have to work them in too much but I don't like to put them too close to my eyeball just because I have like wrinkles under my eyes I'm sure you can see them right there so I feel like these might be a little bit too heavy I would say for that under eye area and for my wrinkles so I just kind of use it to kind of blend my other liquid concealer in with my foundation and get a little bit more coverage kind of here in the hollow part I hope that makes sense I think it does yeah so since this is a little bit lighter than my skin I'm just gonna make sure that when I'm blending it I'm kind of blending upwards so I help with my contouring and highlight that's coming right now so I don't usually really do cream contouring I usually just go straight to powder but since we are talking about like full coverage foundation I thought we should include a little bit of cream contouring so you could do the infallible um, contour kit that I was using before but I wanted to use this NYX wonder stick because I mean they're just so fun and so easy to use so this is in the tone medium and I don't feel like you guys should feel kind of like intimidated by contouring with a cream product it's pretty much just the same thing it just kind of sets your contouring for it to just last longer so actually this one isn't too dark and I like it that way and there you can see it's just kind of like a light contour for sure under my lips it's necessary right here oh my god 
I talked so much about my pimple, I totally forgot to put more concealer on it. So I'm gonna do this one, which is a little bit darker because I don't want to bring kind of any attention to it. I just want to make sure it's hidden away so it has a lot of product on it. And then I'm just gonna blend the edges here. So this you could do if you have kind of like an area that you're like, wow, this is a problem area for me for sure. But I wouldn't say like go on every single one of your pimples and do this just because it would be so time consuming. Just do it if you have one that's really bugging you. This one even hurts you guys. Like when I touch it just to put makeup on it, I'm like, ow, ow, ow. So now I'm gonna go in with the other side of the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm gonna just use it for kind of setting my highlight. So I really like highlighting here in the, kind of the middle of my forehead. For my nose, I typically highlight the bridge of my nose but I won't contour my nose because I mean, I don't feel like I really need it that much and also I like the more natural look without your nose looking just like really contoured but this is up to you. You could contour it if you want just using the other side. And I'm just gonna do a bit here just to kind of set where it's gonna go after like the actual highlight. So I'm gonna work all this in with my beauty blender again. So useful and I like to do the highlight first just because it's a lighter color and I feel like if my beauty blender gets too dirty after with the actual contour, it'll just ruin my highlight. So I just do the highlight first. Although I'm just doing it with the clean side of the beauty blender. It's really easy to blend this NYX Wonder Stick. So now I'm gonna do contouring. And again, look at this. It's just really like the a really light shade that I have there. Some light shade I'm throwing your way. <laughs> I feel like this already looks really cute, but it looks also really natural. So for sure, if we want full coverage, we have to keep adding to it. <laughs> Guys, I've seriously, seriously been obsessed with this Revlon Insta Blush. And you will probably see that I've been using it a ton. And I'm trying to figure out what color it is. It's 310 Candy Kiss. So I love kind of like candy pink colors. And this is just also a stick. And usually I will actually apply this over my powder just because I feel like it, it gives it like a little bit of a glow. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Sense. but today we're just gonna go and do it the right way I'm just doing it on the apples of my cheeks right here I love how this looks I really love like kind of like glowy makeup I don't like it too matte so whenever I do everything in cream I'm like oh I don't even want to set it I just like the way it looks right now but then if you go and leave your house like that there's gonna be makeup on everybody's everything so I blended that in with a brush and now I'm gonna use my elf translucent powder and this stuff really kind of flies everywhere so I I'm gonna be careful. Oh my god, I am the worst. I totally forgot to put this in right here. What's happening? It's probably because like, I started doing my thing, my pimple. <gasps> okay, we'll blend this. If you forget something, just do it after. It's fine. But anyway, I am going to... Oh god, this powder. It's really good, this e.l.f. translucent powder, but I just kept it seriously everywhere. So I'm gonna use this for baking right here under my eyes. And baking is something that I feel like I am a fast baker. I don't bake for a really long time. I just let it bake for a little bit. It's like a microwave. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to really remove all the excess from my beauty blender. Here, I'm getting closer so you guys can see. You guys asked me to get closer, so I am definitely going to try. I feel like sometimes though, when I get too close, you can't see because it'll go out of focus or it'll be like too bright. So I need to definitely find a balance. Thank you guys for your suggestions. You guys are truly, truly the very best. So this is gonna be my kind of last bunch of powder. I'm just gonna let it sit there. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Outlast powder. And this is in medium deep. So I feel like it's a little bit in the darker. I feel like my powders are always a little bit darker just so they kind of warm me up. I'm gonna use this to set wherever I'm not going to be using contour or um, blush. So my T-zone is one of the areas I really have to set for sure. You can also use translucent powder, but I don't like doing that. I really like just using a powder that has some color to it that's actually my skin tone. Maybe just like one shade darker because sometimes like, I feel like foundations, even if they're like exactly your skin tone, they can bounce the light off weird and look a lot lighter. So I end up just kind of correcting it with the powder. Okay, so I have already microwaved myself. <laughs> I know that's not a term, okay, you guys? But now I'm just gonna kind of remove this excess powder right here. Seriously, this e.l.f. powder, this e.l.f. translucent powder is really good, you guys. Really, really good. I really like it. And now that I am done with powder, I am gonna go back in with bronzer and I'm gonna use Milani Baked Bronzer. And, oh, 
I feel like I almost just rediscovered Milani because I've been in love with a bunch of their stuff. I remember I used to love Milani so much. For some reason, I just hadn't picked it up again in quite a while. And just recently I was shopping and I was like, oh my God, Milani is just freaking awesome. They have the coolest stuff and they're really good quality. So I need to go get myself some more Milani. If you guys have any recommendations of things that you absolutely need to get, let me know. So this bronzer is baked. It has a bit of shimmer shimmer to it. You could just do matte again. It's totally up to you. I feel like if you do a matte, you can kind of build it up a little more than if you're using a baked bronzer though so i'm just not gonna do that much of it but since i already had the cream sort of as a base for it it's still gonna be really full coverage okay you guys so there i have blended in my bronzer now i'm still missing my blush and my highlight and i guess my lips so i'm gonna go in and do my eyes off camera and i'll be back hopefully with decent eyes and brows okay you guys i'm just gonna be totally honest with you i have no idea why this is what i went with <laughs> for my eyes i usually go with like really light makeup just not really a lot of shadows but i just grabbed those and i thought they were pretty so hopefully they are now i'm gonna do the highlight and I'm gonna use the Circa Magic Hour Illuminating Glow. You guys, this is amazing. You should really pick one up. And this color I haven't tried, so I'm excited about it, but I've tried one that's like pink and it's really comparable to um, Benefits. Ooh, 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 the name, the name, the name. Benefits High Beam. So I actually had it handy right here because I actually, I really love this color also. So um, it's kind of like this color, but by Circa and it's really good and it's drugstore also. So it comes in an applicator like this and it's really white so we're gonna get it dirty right now let's see if i can get it on camera for you guys that's really satisfying to me when i see that oh there it is there it is yes so i do realize that this is a liquid product but i really haven't applied any powder right here so i'm just gonna use it to ugh, can you already see that highlight coming through it's so pretty i really love it i really love this formula because it's really easy to work with it doesn't really get all over the place usually i don't blend it in with my finger i'll use a brush so let me do what i would usually do so pretty and this is just really the tiniest amount it's like nothing here here we go Oof. i love highlight i don't know it's just when i see the highlight just brings me to life <laughs> That's a true makeup addict saying that, definitely. So again, I only highlight a tiny bit of the bridge of my nose, so about that. And then I do here for my cheekbones. Ooh. So I'm gonna just work this in. So pretty. I love that it doesn't really get all over the place. It just stays where you want it to stay because sometimes when highlights are just too liquidy, I'm just like, I don't wanna look like a disco ball. I just want a little bit of highlight. There we go. I really like this. Oh, I love this color. It's kind of for like a bronzy look. I feel like I want to soften this contour up a little bit so that it all blends in really nicely. So for the powder highlight, I am going to use my e.l.f. which I used on the Full Face with e.l.f. products challenge and I discovered this beauty which is the HD highlighting powder and this is Starlight Glow. And it's, oh, okay. Are you guys ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Boom. It's so pretty. I think it's beautiful. And e.l.f. is so affordable. Oh, look at that. I just love highlight. See, I mean, this really gives it that extra. Mm. But this kind of does get all over the place, which I just forgot about. So I kind of got it up here. I remember that from my challenge. You kind of just want to work it exactly where you need it because it's really, really pigmented. So just a tiny, tiny, tiny. I decided to go with the bronzy look, so I am not gonna add any more blush to this, but I am gonna add a bit more contour, but I want it to be like really blended. I'm also gonna add a bit of this e.l.f. highlight right here under my brow. I always like to do that with whatever highlight I'm using, so to kind of finish off my eye makeup and kind of make everything tie in together. That's just like a little thing. You could just use any shadow, but I like doing that. Okay guys, I just did my lip and I think I don't really look like a bronze guy. Goddess? I look kind of like a goth goddess. <laughs> no, wait, I'm not a goddess. I don't know, this just feels really dark on me, but I wanted a brown lip. I didn't include it in this video because it's not drugstore, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed filming this for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it too. Let me know if you have kind of like another go-to foundation routine using drugstore products or any drugstore products that I have to get so I can try them out and just feature them in videos here for you guys and know what good things are out there. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.